Okay, welcome back to the shop. So today we're playing around with um, 28 volt batteries. Um, I happened to see that there was a knockoff, and uh, there had been knockoff V28 batteries for quite some time. I was tempted, but the price really wasn't that great, and you're not really gaining a lot. Now this is a little bit more intriguing because it's the M28 style battery and it claims to be 5 amp hour so I thought maybe we'd uh, crack this open and take a look at what's inside and see if it has two sets of two and a half amp hour batteries in parallel in it and see if this is actually a decent upgrade um, or at least a decent way to keep keep your M28 tools going because I, I don't know how long Milwaukee's going to support this. Um, there was some good tools in the M28 line, V28, M28, the 28 volt line. Um, but they do sell batteries now. They may even be able to get the V28 batteries still. But the reality of it is, is the V28 batteries, um, they used this uh, 26700 cell. And it really had poor power characteristics. A very saggy cell that just really had per poor, very poor performance. The M28s, um, they had updated with 18650 cells. Now this isn't one that they would have had in there. This was one that I had got that I was con contemplating trying to hot rod a 28 volt um, M28 battery to a six amp hour battery. We'll see, we may try that still. Um, but I had ended up converting a V28 battery to a 20, 21700 cell with these uh, Samsung 3 amp hour batteries and that would just be you know all in series seven of these in series but that actually did have pretty good results uh, still 3 amp hour which is all you got out of your um, M28 batteries because originally they used um, 1.5 amp hour cells and put them in series so um, you didn't gain you know but you lost the voltage sag that this bigger cell had um, so just a little interesting uh, look at some battery stuff there um, but I thought maybe we'd uh, take this apart and see what's inside uh, just because I was curious I, I wanted to get one and we'll try it out right now it's not the best time but I do have the uh, V28 grinder and I do believe we're going to do a, a time test on how long it takes to kill this over one of the others. But in the meantime, we'll take a look inside and see what it looks like and see what we can expect if this thing's going to overheat and stop working or if we think it'll actually hold up. So let's get it apart and see what it looks like. So we got her open here and it actually isn't horrifically scary. Um, it's actually reasonably decent. Um, there's some... Uh, value engineering practices in here to help save some some money but it's actually not bad there's an interesting little mechanism here for your your latch move them in there that two-piece uh, part but it seems to work so that's good um, the screws are not very long that's okay but there's only four of them so uh, this is not the best of uh, uh, plastic it doesn't seem like it has any glass fiber in it whatsoever so I would think if this thing falls in the cold or something like that you're gonna be picking up pieces unfortunately but who knows maybe we could put this in an M28 case in which case you kill your M28 battery, maybe we could put one of these inside of it. Maybe we'll play around with that idea too. Um, so give me a second here and we'll get the rest of this out. We've got our insulating mat here and no metal parts nearby. So we got all this out. Uh, we can see here's our little battery indicator. That simple part of the board there that works well. And... Um, it's actually put together reasonably decent. You have actual little plates here, uh, tack welded onto the batteries. The tacks 
aren't the greatest, but they seem solid. Um, I do know if you take one of the V18 batteries apart, you'll have much better tack welds than this on it, but I, I think this is functional, obviously. Um, it does appear as though they have temperature monitoring in here, which is good. Always a good thing. And as far as the, the brains and everything in here, I'm not quite sure what all they're monitoring. And I'm not going to really pretend to know. Um, it does look like they made up their own board for this. And the cells, I'm going to see if I could find anything. But that appears to be the number that's on it. Um, there's also a another number that is up in there that we can't quite read, and I don't want to really want to hack this whole thing apart. So let me see if I can figure out what cells they have in this, and give us an idea if we're actually getting the five amp hours they're advertising. All right, so we got an M28 battery apart. Um, unfortunately, I didn't find out any information on these. So we're going to have to just wait until we can do um, a test with the grinder. And uh, that will tell us how good that really is. But I did do, I got a M28 battery taken apart here. And you can see it's very, very similar. Um, the top is an almost identical thing with the exception of the M28 utilizes a screw on the side there instead of the top. Um, you have your your push button there and that stuff. Um, the other difference is this you can see everywhere says it's glass fiber reinforced ABS that is 40% uh, glass fiber so there, there's this is a better quality plastic. Um, so there's that. Our casement also um, very similar with the exception of the M28 battery has this metal piece. Um, I'm assuming it's few, it's molded in the plastic and that is where this cover screws to on that metal piece and that's uh, actually pretty pretty strong. Uh, the, the M28 battery had eight screws in it too uh, as opposed to this having four. So that would take a, a little bit more of a hit. It's got the rubber on it to uh, try and diffuse a hit and everything else. So there's that. And then the battery itself, this one was gutted, um, but we can compare the boards. Um, pretty much it all lines up uh, very similar. Uh, in construction, but there does appear to be more going on here on the Milwaukee. Um, this is very uncharacteristic for Milwaukee. I think somebody was in this thing screwing around. It's a very, very shoddy solder joint. I think somebody was trying to get this one working again because it appears as though they cooked a component. Uh, so this battery is basically no good to us. Uh, we could save that there centers even line up so uh, maybe we'll see if we can get this one in the M28 case and we'll have it in a better case and we'll also know if we can uh, try and save these batteries with uh, with one of these knockoffs like we did with the other uh, the other type of battery so let me fumble around with this a little bit and we'll see if we can get it together Okay, so we did the adequate amount of uh, tongue twirling and everything else, and it uh, turns out the piece that this um, connection block goes up into on this here um, is smaller on stock than it is on the reproduction. And the way the batteries go together, it's not going to be easy to um, just utilize that the top only just because of the way the screws go into everything in the bottom part of the case so that all being said if it came down to it you could probably shave this down you can see the difference 
here. Um, this part standing a little bit more proud um, than the other, but um, I don't know if it's really worth it to go through all that. So I'm going to just go and put all this back together the way it was, and it'll be pretty obvious which one's the knockoff, and uh, we'll see how it performs. So now that all this is back together, I think there's some simple takeaways. We saw at the beginning there where uh, my charger was a little unhappy with it at first. Um, the one bay didn't like it, but the, I don't want to be too down on this. That bay has been a little finicky. So I think perhaps the uh, cutoff voltage is a little bit more sensitive on that bay on the charger. We did get it to work on the other bay. So... I don't want to be too down on it for that. We should have probably taken a voltage reading as to what it was at before um, when I got it, but uh, it definitely seems to have taken a charge now. So all that being said, all that's left to do is try and use this thing and see what it does. Um, I don't really have anything going right now that I need M28 tools, but we can certainly see if it'll fit up and how it fits onto the tool. We will do that right now. So here we have our trusty M28 straight grinder. Favorite here in the shop. Uh, let's see how this goes in. Actually has a nice fit. Um, some of these knockoff batteries um, are snug or don't feel good after they're on. This actually isn't wobbling around. So they actually got that pretty good. That's a pretty good fit on that. So let's see if the tool fires up. Look at that, it even works. So, there we go. I think we're doing pretty good there. Um, fits up on the tool even and this is just the same grinder base jigsaw base whatever it's a motor they used for a lot of stuff um, and uh, works good so when we get a chance we're gonna do some run testing on this versus the standard 3 amp hour cell and see how it holds up alright there'll be a follow-up on this one Thanks for watching. Have a great day.